you're welcome to my channel today i'll be showing you how to fix a zipper on a gown i have a stone zip here with me and i have a stock zip so this is my gown before you fix a zipper there are things to check on your gown after you iron every part place your gown like this and check you see this part now the yoke part you place it together and check if they are equal are you see you check if they are equal and you come to the half length line you check also to make sure they are equal if they are not equal you quickly amend it you can pass through the inside and pinch a little from from any of the side that is longer and amend it so when you check like that, check it down, they are equal, then you're good to go. Because it's a straight gown, so most of the clients, they like wearing the gown from the down. That way, it's less stress for them. So it's better that way. So you check, let the length of your zip go up to the tip length. This method, um, you can use it for either of this zipper you can use it for stone zip and it will balance you can also use it for this smaller zip and it will also balance but if you don't want to use this method there is another method that i normally use which i won't close this allowance now if i'm using that method i'll just hold my material like this and i'll place my zipper and i sew up to this ending part i will stop and I turn it this way and sew up to the upper part and stop. Then later I will hold it like this and stitch thread from this point to down. I think I have it on my channel. But today I will be using a different method. In case you want to use the other method, please don't, don't use it on a stone zipper, please. Because it will not balance. You can use it on a smaller zipper, the other method that I have on my channel. So I will keep the stone zipper aside and I will work with this one so I will pick my gown like this and I will make sure the joining they are equal I will check like so this is where I mark chop where my zipper will stop like this then I am going to use the zipper allowance and I will close it you see I have already closed mine this is where I stop because there will be a slit on my gown, I see now. So there is a slit already. But if there will be no slit, please close it till down. If you're making a gown, maybe a cut or six pieces. Yeah. On this one, this is where my slit will stop. This is where my zipper will stop. So I will start now. I'll pick my zipper like this. This is the front of the zipper. Are you seeing now? Here you can zip. This is the front so i will so i'm going to place the front on the front fabric like so i see now so that when i turn it it will be like this i can hold it and zip so it depends on you if you want this uh, zipper hook at the upper part to show then you place your zipper in a way that when you turn it like this the hook will be there are you seeing now but if you don't want it to show you can shift it hard for a quick sewing so that you just run thread like that but i think i will prefer this one to show so i'm just shifting like a half inch from the zipper so that when i zip it my hook will be there to stop the zipper so i'm going to open it first like this Using my zipper allowance, I've already ironed the zipper allowance. Are you seeing now? So it will be a guide for me. At this point, I can stop now because of the hook. 
that is why I open the zip. I can now close the zip like this. It's better for me this way. So I will now run it all through. So you make sure you check, you see your line, the zipper line, and the line that you iron, just place it so that when you turn it to the front side, it's going to lap like this icing now, to just lap perfectly. Make sure you don't drag the fabric, just allow it to, just allow it to dip. So when you get to this point, see how you are to place it from the line, just, you know when you turn it this way, so that allowance will not cover the zipper, so you have to place it on that line very well. And just run your thread. This way. So see what I have. You see? Because of this topper here, so I had to bend my hand this way. And it's okay. If you turn it to the front, you see that uh, it's well balanced, it's okay like this. So I'm going to turn it now to sew the other side. I will turn it this way now. And I'm going to follow my line also like this. For a start, your tray will shift to the other side. But well, immediately you pass that uh, stopper there. You can bring your tray close to the zipper, let it align close to the zipper like that. So at this point, I will need to check my line and I'll bring my thread needle close to the zipper line. I see now. Okay, so after that, the next thing to be checking is this line, the half length line, very important. You have to make sure that they are equal. So when you pass your half length, the next place to check is this line, the yoke line. I see now make sure they are equal. As you're going, you keep checking. So immediately you pass your yoke line, the next place to check is the neckline, the upper part. I see now, make sure they are equal also. Check your allowance and the line. So at this point, okay, let me come a little bit close. Then you pull it out and open the zipper the same way that we started the zipper because of the hook here now that we have checked the neck and you know they are equal that same line that this one stopped you have to make sure this one also gets to that line so see how the back is I see now 
So this is the front. I see now. This is the front. We can now come to this neck. This extra allowance now. You just fold it inside like this. I see the way I'm putting it. And you flip it this way. You top stitch thread on top. If you don't want the thread to show in front, you can use your needle and thread to tack it. But we have been doing it like this. It's okay. You can do it this way. Now the second side also. Turn it this way to the back and you flip it over. See how the back is. So see my zipper now. And before you do this top stitch, make sure you check the zipper line and see that they are equal before you top stitch it. Thank you for watching. See you in my next video.